Hello and welcome to this outside edition and happy 4th of July on Cooking with Carter. We're going to do a grilling episode today. We're over at my mom's and the clouds are forming beautiful rays of shade, we hope. I've got four beautiful ribeye steaks already thawed and good to go. I've got my grill on high preheating and the lid is closed. It's a gas combination briquette grill, so all you do is turn your gas on and um, just you want to make sure before you do anything to clean it with a wire brush make sure all of your crud and stuff from where it hasn't been used or if it hadn't been used for a while make sure you uh, get it um, brushed down very well. I also sprayed it down with a uh, just bargain cooking spray. We're going to get started right away here because it's hot. It's going to be a quick episode. I'm going to let you know now. Alright, here we go. I've got some, uh, I've got two melted sticks of butter and a basic basting brush and I'm just going to lather the... Oh, that breeze feels good. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Lord. There we go. A little lather one more time. Now I'm buttering these first before I season them because I want my seasonings to show and I also want them to stick just a little bit. And this will help the steaks not to burn. Now butter will burn if you're not careful. There you go. And I'm going to put these on seasoned side down. So we're going to season these really quick. Going to go with seasoned salt. little one for the other one tell you one thing you can tell it's the 4th of July today boy it's hot there you go I'm going to do a little bit on this end here. Now we're going to switch over to the oregano. Get a suntan and a heartbeat out here, baby. Woo! I'll become a human lobster, whichever one. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be a burnt piece of toast by this week. There you go. A little bit of onion powder. Oh, shade. Thank you. Yes. And the sun has decided to hide behind the clouds. I want to show y'all a lovely view outside. Lovely view. Now back to steaks. All right. Got a little bit of complete seasoning. And you notice very little, I'm just sprinkling very little on each steak. I'm not going crazy with the seasonings because I want the flavor of the steak to come out and I want it to shine. Lastly, a little bit of garlic salt. Sprinkle just a little bit more on this one here. Didn't mean to get it in the middle. All right. And let me get top of that. Okay. When we come back, the grill will be heated. The steaks will be on. We will be cooking. And that will be that. And we will show you steaks cooking with Carter style. Be back in a minute. All right. We're back on cooking with Carter. Give these a quick flip and just show you what they look like. I'm using an extra long spatula for my reach. Pick it up, turn it, very nice. These will not take very long. 
This one's under the fire. Move it over. Woohoo! How you doing, Smokey Smoke Baby? Okay. And now we turn over the last one. Real easy. Got my grill on high. And just letting the fire do the work. And I'm gonna pick this bad boy up real slow like. Make sure they're straight. And let these bad boys see her. Now, these are thin. They're gonna, sorry for the squinting guys, but the sun has just decided to come back out right when we go to camera. Set my spatula down in the basket here, let these do its thing. Now, you can technically just close this if you want to, uh, which I'm gonna have the cameraman do. Uh, just because a lot of smoke coming this way and we want to just go and let the flavors go in these will these will cook about I would say eight minutes on each side and that's as much as it will take uh, and then they will be done all I've done is flip them I will flip them every four so I'll flip them twice very simple they've been seasoned they've been buttered that steak ladies and gentlemen the thicker your steak is, the longer you're going to want it to cook, and the you you want to bring your temperature down throughout the cooking process. So when we come back, I'll show you how they look and how they taste on Cooking with Carter Steak Style. Happy Fourth of July. See you in a minute. And we're back, and I'm going to go ahead and take these off of the grill now, and you can see the nice doneness that are on these. We went ahead and rebrushed these with butter on both sides. And I'm gonna go ahead and take these off with the same long spatula that I cooked them with. One steak. Two steaks. Oh, Cameraman got a little worried there, tied it through, so did I. Three steaks. And Give this one a final flip so you can see the other side. Now, be sure to shut your gas off and turn your burners off on your grill. Very simple, very easy. We're going to shut the grill now. And bring these over whoa, to the other table so we can actually turn around and get a good shot, maybe cut into one here. Sorry for the camera movement, but that's what's got to be done. It's inevitable. Alrighty. Now, one of the tricks with grilling, if you're done, okay, I want to show this on camera. I brought two platters. There's a reason I did that. Take your platter, turn it over. Number one, that keeps the heat in for your steaks. Number two, that allows the flies not to have access to your delicious morsels of meat. And now, uh, do we have a knife? We do, okay. All right, let me, uh, we'll be right back. I'll grab a knife, we can cut into these and show you how they look. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, uh, sorry for the voice crack coming back there, but just want to show you real quick. Now, I, I cook these steaks at different temperatures. This one should have no pink at all which you can see it does not and you saw how easy that knife cut through that steak that's because of the butter and flip, flipping it frequently double f there now i'm going to just cut a piece of this off i'll cut a piece here half this piece i'll take a piece and cameraman you can take a piece there Oh my word. <laughs> mm. Wow. That's the difference in. Mm. Having that open flame and then the skillet. There's more more of a rustic taste to it. Oh, man. That's good. Wow. So 
my mom doesn't want to be on camera, so I'm going to have her taste it. That's going to do it for Cooking with Carter. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you for Season 3 in 45.